Welcome back guys to some more Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. This is not a battles video, this is more exciting than a battles video. So Vida mentioned the guys, the developers who make the game, have very kindly given me some exclusive information today that I can pass on to you guys in my video, which I'm really excited about. So as you guys know, faction-wise in the game at the moment, we've got the humans, we've got uh, the mutant primates, we've got weaponized mammals, we've got modern mammals, we've got dinosaurs, we've got giant insects, we've got modern reptiles, we've got ancient reptiles, and, and... There's going to be one more coming. There's going to be one more coming. We will go get into that later on, though. But there's lots to tell you about today. Anyway, we're going to start off with the uh, human units. So the human units, guys, this is to confirm that this is confirming what is going to be in the lineup for now as that when early access was released at the end of June, okay? So this news here is what's going to be in the game at the end, by the end of June, okay? So as you guys know, we've already got the Coward Cole, Bulbilly, Slow Mo's, Angry Joe's. We've got the Romanus in. We've got Archie the Archer, Crossbow Anakin and Suicide 2. Suicide Sue? Suicide Sue, even. Um, so if you've seen the Steam page, you'll see there's a Harpooners mentioned on there. The Harpooners appears to have gone, so the Harpooners is no longer going to be in the game. However, we've got two new units coming in, um, which can be coming in pretty soon. So we've got one. Cool. I'll, I've, got, I've got pictures of these, these guys as well, right? So this is the exclusive, exclusive pictures of these new units, okay? So we've got one, which is called uh, Rocky, which as you can see here, this dude has got uh, rocket launches on his back. Yeah. So I think they, there was one initially called Rocket Launcher Twins. Now whether the Rocket Launcher Twins was this guy, hence he's got twin rocket launchers, I don't know. But this guy is now called Rocky. The second new human unit is called Commander Bow. As you can see here, this guy is in full camouflage gear. You know, helmet, the whole bulletproof vest, a lot. This guy, in addition to building to shoot bullets, has also got a sleeping gas grenade, which he can shoot when the enemy is close, which I think sounds amazing. So he's going to be an awesome little unit. These are the two new units uh, for the humans. I'm really looking forward to trying these guys out when they come in. I believe these these two are coming soon, hence the fact they've already got the artwork and everything in place for them. So I think these two are the first ones coming of the various announcements I've got for you guys tonight. We'll now move on to the next faction which is the uh, mutant primates as you can see here there's not too much difference to what you guys have already have seen here before we've got knockout berserker projectile king kung jumper uh karate mace flailing goro 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 so i know i know a lot of these aren't in the game yet but the new one that wasn't showing on the steam page uh, is the uh, flail gorilla so all these guys are yet to come in i haven't got any details on any of them i'm just gonna guess that the uh, karate gorilla is a bit of a kung fu expert Jumper Gorilla, I guess he maybe jump around a bit more. The Mace Gorilla might hold a mace weapon, and Goro is actually, I think, the guy who shows on their store page at the moment, so I'm going to put an image up just here for you guys. I think this is Goro the Giant, is this giant right here, so I'm thinking that's, that's all the details I've got for them. I've no more for, 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 the, uh, for the Mutant Primates just yet. Right, and we go to the weaponized mammals. No changes here to what's on their Steam page at the moment. So I've still got the rocket launcher elephant, fairly self-explanatory. The steel rhino peacock and the dynamite warthog. And the dynamite warthog, obviously already in the game. I'm kind of hoping the steel rhino peacock looks a little bit like this. Kind of like a rhinoceros just with a peacock tail. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's my image of it. It's going to look a bit silly if it is the case, but I hope it's going to look like that. I think it's a peacock, but you know, fingers crossed it. Right, next up we've got the modern mammals. Not a lot of change here guys really, so obviously you've already got elephant, rhino, tiger, polar bear, water buffalo and cape buffalo in here. The ibex which is listed on Steam is gone, that's no longer going to be in the game. We've got a giant baby hippo now, so I'm not really sure what a giant baby hippo is. Uh, if it's a baby, it's a baby. If it's a giant baby hippo, isn't it just an adult hippo? Uh, I don't know. So yeah, we've got that coming. I don't know when, don't exactly know what it is, but we've got a giant baby hippo joining the gang. Right, it should be dinosaurs now, but I'm going to leave them a bit longer because I'm a tease. So we're going to go on to giant insects. So the giant insects confirmed are the emperor scorpion, saber tooth spider. I've no idea what that was. Couldn't even find anything on that at all anywhere. A great bulldog ant, a blade woman, a giant stag beetle. The praying mantis is gone. They're not going to do it anymore, which is a bit sad. I was quite looking forward to seeing that. But I've got some images of these guys. So we've got an emperor scorpion here for you. Here's a great bulldog ant. And here's a giant stag beetle, blade worm, not a clue again. If any of you guys know, please leave me a comment and tell me, because I couldn't find anything on that either. <laughs> Very briefed on the modern reptiles. Um, yeah, as you guys know, we've got the saltwater crocodile and the green anaconda recently. Unfortunately, the um, alligator and the boa constrictor have been cut out. They're not going to be doing them anymore in the game, which I'm a bit sad about. However, the next couple of factions, I think, are going to make you a lot happier. So let's get on to the really big news, shall we? Right, some of you may have seen some of these on the Steam page. For those of you who haven't, we've got quite a few uh, little uh, treats for you in, the, in store here. So in the ancient reptiles, we've got the uh, Tanistrophius, this long-necked dude here. He's, uh, he's first on the list of the new ones. I'm not really sure what, what his powerful move is. I guess smashing people with his neck. I don't really know. Then we've got this uh, Gorgonopsid. Or Gorgonopsids, whatever they are. I don't know what you'd really call him. Like a, Kind of like a 
dog shaped kind of thing and he, I don't really know what he is to be honest I'm not one I'm familiar with Pterodactyl is not on the Steam list that's a new one so we've got a Pterodactyl in there I don't know whether it's going to going to be flying or attacking from the ground I'm not sure but it's in there it's going to be coming uh, by the uh, by the early access release also got the Titan of Boa the big old beast of a snake is going to be coming which is awesome news and we've also got the one which I know a few of you guys have really been hoping to see as well the Machimosaurus the kind of the crocodile esque type thing. I know it can swim, but I get the feeling this is going to be a land, a land battling uh, Macamisos. Oh, I can't speak. Macamosaurus Rex. So hopefully you guys are really chuffed with that little lineup. Um, it's on to the dinosaurs, where there are some new ones coming. Right, we'll bomb through the list of we, that we already know. We've got the T Rex, the Crylophosaurus, Triceratops, Velociraptor, Deinonychus, Ankylosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus. Terezinosaurus, the Parasophilus, ah, the Parasaurolophus, I can never say that one, ah, and the Carnotaurus with the Allosaurus, and guys, the ones you've been requesting the most, the ones you've been requesting the most to come into the game, we are getting the Spinosaurus is coming in the next two and a half months before early access release goes, goes fully live, we're getting the Spinosaurus guys, big well done to V Dimension for that one, to listen into their, um, their Discord, uh, their Discord uh, fans, also, also, not just that, we're getting the Stegosaurus too, guys. The Stegosaurus is coming as well. We're getting a double whammy of the Spinosaurus and Stegosaurus. So two awesome new dinosaurs coming in the next uh, couple of months at some point. I don't know when yet, but they're coming, and they're coming pretty soon. So, guys, be very excited for that. And there's still one more surprise for you yet. So this is something that I know that you guys have requested both on my community page, in some of our chats on there, on Discord, both in mine and Vida mentions, and it looks like this is quite a popular request across the board. So this one will not be in place by early access, this one will be coming in after early access at some point, so at some point after the end of June they'll be doing this, but they are going to be bringing in a fantasy faction guys, they are bringing in a fantasy faction, so this is going to include uh, new units such as an ogre, uh, a griffin, a centaur, a manticore and dragon. I mean, I'm, there might be other things other than that. I had, a, I had a quick chat with them tonight, and that was the things that were mentioned tonight. It may well be there's more in that as well. I don't know yet, but we have got five new um, five new units coming there at present. Just to go cover them again, an ogre, a griffin, a centaur, a manticore, and a dragon. So I imagine them in this game as well, on top of everything else I just told you tonight. It's going to be amazing. I mean, and this is, other than these ones, everything else is just what's coming up to the early access release as well. They've already said on Steam, on the Steam store page, that they're planning to double the number of um, units, so actually animals, uh, dinosaurs, reptiles, they're going to double the number once the early access is done. So whatever we have at June, there are going to be twice as many as that at some point in the future. So there's so many more, so many more units to come on the game yet as well, other than these ones. I'll be keeping you guys up to date as and when the new ones are coming out. Um, when there are screenshots or anything of the new units before they get launched, I'll be keeping up to date with them. So I'll, I'll make sure I, I will be the go-to person for you um, for anything that's going to be coming from V Dimension with regards to uh, new units, images of any of the new units when they start designing them and everything. So this is the first video and hopefully a series leading up to at least early access where I'll be trying to give you some kind of insight into what's going on behind the scenes where I can. Um, so I'll be the first port of or first point of contact, hopefully, with uh, delivering the great news to the YouTube community. Um, that's it for this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do please uh, leave a comment and a like, and if you want to hear the uh, future updates uh, from me with what V Dimension are going to be doing with Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, then please do smash the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well, because obviously there's two months to go and a lot of units, a lot of these units still to come into the game as well. So there'll be quite a few of these little updates hopefully between now and the end of June. That's it for now guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks ever so much for watching, cheers all, bye!